Non-Invasive Prenatal Testing, or NIPT. You might have heard of this test because it can predict the sex of a baby. But there is other important information you should know about this test. In this episode, I will review what this test typically screens for, when in pregnancy this test can be performed, and what types of results you can expect. Along with your healthcare provider, this video can help you decide if non-invasive prenatal testing is right for you. For those of you who are new here, I am Kendra, a board-certified genetic counselor who specializes in prenatal care. I produce informational videos about prenatal genetic testing and how to navigate unexpected news in pregnancy. If you do not want to miss a video, please press subscribe right now. So what is NIPT? NIPT testing is a genetic blood test offered during a pregnancy. This test goes by many different names, including NIPT, or non-invasive prenatal testing, cell-free fetal DNA screening, or CF DNA screening. Common brand names of this test include Maternity 21, Panorama, or Prequel, among others. What does NIPT test for? NIPT is a screening test that screens a pregnancy for specific chromosome conditions. Humans typically have 23 pairs of chromosomes, which contain the instructions for how our bodies form and develop. Most commonly, NIPT will screen for three chromosome conditions, including Down syndrome, also known as trisomy 21, Edwards syndrome, also known as trisomy 18, Patau syndrome, also known as trisomy 13. This test can also screen for missing or extra sex chromosomes. This is called sex chromosome aneuploidy. Sex chromosomes are the X and Y chromosomes. As you may know, females typically have two X chromosomes and males have one X and one Y chromosome. NIPT may also include screening for other, but not all chromosome conditions. Check with your healthcare provider about which conditions they recommend or offer screening for with NIPT. Ask to meet with a genetic counselor if you have questions about NIPT that cannot be answered by your provider. You can find a genetic counselor near you in the United States or in Canada at the following website. Let's talk about who is offered NIPT. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists recommend that all pregnant people are offered this test, regardless of their age, their race or ethnic background, or their family history. You might be thinking, I don't need this test because there's no one in my family or in my partner's family with a chromosome condition. Or I have other children who are unaffected. It's important to understand that most chromosome conditions happen by chance and do not run in a family. This means that your family history does not necessarily lower the chance for your pregnancy to be affected by a chromosome condition. Stay tuned for a future episode about what your family history can and cannot tell you. Let's talk about when is NIPT performed in pregnancy. NIPT is typically offered anytime after 10 weeks of pregnancy, but some labs will perform this test as early as nine weeks. How does this test work? From the time a pregnancy is conceived, you may have heard of an organ called the placenta. The placenta begins to develop along with the baby. The placenta is an essential organ that provides oxygen and nutrients that are very critical to a baby's development. The placenta actually releases cells into a pregnant person's blood. NIPT testing examines specific chromosomes that are in those placental cells in a pregnant person's blood. The placenta and the baby are often, but not always genetically identical since they are made from the same egg and sperm. How long does it take to get NIPT results? Usually results come back within one to two weeks. Let's talk about what type of results you can receive with NIPT testing. There are three common types of results, including a screen negative or low risk result, a screen positive or increased risk result, or a no result, also known as a non-reportable result, which occurs in about one to 5% of all patients who undergo this test. How accurate is NIPT testing? NIPT is a screening test, which means that the results are not 100% accurate. 
Again, I'm gonna repeat that. The test results are not 100% accurate. False positive and false negative results can occur. Just to be clear, a false positive result means that the test indicates the baby might be affected when the baby is actually unaffected. A false negative result means the test indicates that the baby is not affected, but the baby is actually affected. NIPT can detect the majority of pregnancies affected with the three conditions that we discussed. In particular, this test detects 99% of pregnancies affected with Down syndrome, 98% of pregnancies affected with trisomy 18, 99% of pregnancies affected with trisomy 13, and over 90% of pregnancies affected with a sex chromosome aneuploidy, which is a missing or extra X or Y chromosome. This test is 98 to 99% accurate in predicting the sex of a fetus. If you receive an abnormal or positive result, that does not mean the chance for your pregnancy to be affected is 90 to 99%. The chance for your pregnancy to be affected actually depends on many different factors, which may include if there's any abnormal ultrasound findings that have been seen, what a person's age is, among other factors. What does a positive NIPT result mean? A positive NIPT screening result means that there is an increased chance for your pregnancy to be affected, but this is never 100%. No decision should be made about a pregnancy based on a positive NIPT result. Additional information should be gathered through further testing and or prenatal ultrasounds. Learn more about abnormal NIPT results by watching this video. What does a negative NIPT result mean? Typically, a negative screening result means that there is a low chance for a pregnancy to be affected with any of the conditions included on the screening test. A negative result does not eliminate the chance for the pregnancy to be affected, and it doesn't eliminate the chance for the pregnancy to be affected with all genetic conditions or chromosome disorders. What does a no result or non-reportable NIPT result mean? A no result or non-reportable result means that no results were able to be obtained. This type of result happens for many different reasons. Learn more about this type of result by watching this video. You might be wondering, can a prior pregnancy affect your NIPT results? The answer is no. This is not possible because the DNA from a prior pregnancy leaves a person's blood within a few days after delivering a baby. Is NIPT required during pregnancy? Absolutely not. This is an optional test in pregnancy. You have the right to choose whether this test is right for you and your family. You have the right to decline this test, and it is important to discuss the risks, benefits, and limitations with your healthcare provider and or a genetic counselor. Again, you can find a genetic counselor near you in the United States or Canada by going to this website. So how do you decide whether NIPT is right for you? I think it's important to consider what information, if any, you would like to know about the health of your pregnancy. Some people desire to know whether their baby is at increased risk for certain genetic conditions before birth. This can allow time to learn about the condition, connect with families who have received similar news, and plan for medical care after delivery. Others might use this information to make decisions about further testing, and if a prenatal diagnosis is confirmed, some people may opt to interrupt their pregnancy or consider adoption. Other families might feel that learning this information will increase anxiety and they do not desire to know this information for personal reasons. It is important to consider your own values and beliefs. This is a decision that you and your family should make. Some people find it helpful to discuss this decision with a trusted person, a healthcare provider, or a genetic counselor. There are many people who do this NIPT test to learn the sex of their baby. It is important to remember that this is a medical test designed to look for certain chromosome conditions and that you will receive that information along with the fetal sex. It is also possible that you could receive a non-reportable result or the fetal sex may be incorrect. If you have a family history of any specific genetic condition, please discuss this with your healthcare provider and or genetic counselor to decide if NIPT is the right test for you. 
please support our community by liking and subscribing to this channel. I would love to hear from each of you. If you'd like, share a comment below about your own experience with NIPT or topics you would like to see me cover in future episodes. Lastly, for free informational and support resources, check out my website at alay-life.com. With love and light, see you next time.